we had the web booking, we also had the app booking. Uh, we had the taxi management system running, I think I would say for the past six to seven years, uh, till we decided to make it more robust, more scalable, and as we were adding more and more verticals into the same, uh, more and more categories in the same business, adding more and more cities uh, into our operations, we decided that we needed, uh, you know, we needed to see the gorilla and tackle the gorilla. So that's when the engagement with the Angular team started and uh, like I mentioned before, uh, we really transcended uh, geographies and cultures and languages to come down south and, and tie up with somebody. Um, all apprehensions was put aside. They are managing us remotely. This is the first time that our IT head has come to point of uh, We never needed to. And we did come down to, to, to Delhi and interact with, uh, with our team. Uh, they were there for about three weeks where they took over the system. Um, they, they, there was a, a lot of discussion on, on the optimized uh, work team that was going to be put in place to manage this project. Uh, there was a lot of discussion on the skill sets of those people. And uh, they, uh, they successfully put together the team to manage uh, the application. Uh, while we were coming here, I asked him, Charan, how was your interaction with the Angular team? He said, sir, they have only one complaint. I said, what's that? He said, sir, they say that when we, whenever mega caps fall, they want something tomorrow. So, <laughs> so I said, well, they better get used to it because we're going to keep moving into new cities every day. <laughs> so the engagement with the with Angular team began when the system was live. As I mentioned, we were already running. They moved in and uh, our, our, our TMS was very, very unstable. There were a lot of times that it would crash. There were a lot of times when bookings would disappear. So you can imagine that if a customer wants to go to the airport and his taxi doesn't show up, he's the most unhappy customer you know, in the world. And he'll probably never come back to you. So that's a very, very uh, unwanted type of a scenario for us. And we wanted to make sure that that does not happen. So in system being unstable, we cannot handle those kind of risks. Uh, Angular took on uh, the, that challenge and uh, we've, we've worked uh, very well since then. We've implemented in, uh, we implemented the cities uh, step by step. Uh, Bangalore is going to be the last city that we will migrate onto the new application that, that Angular has developed and that's why Johnson is also here. Uh, a little bit about the, uh, the partner engagement on how uh, when you're running a business how do you sort of hand it over to another company for them to seamlessly transfer uh, the, the operations onto a new system? And uh, that that happened with with the right type of plan planning, with the right type of uh, team in place. Uh, we managed to do that. Uh, they've allocated uh, the right the right resources for that and infrastructure for that. In fact, I would say that, and I mentioned over here also that Angular made visits even to the airport to actually see the operations on how airport booking happens, how a customer walks out of the terminal, goes to our uh, Kyos, books a ta taxi, sits in the taxi and drives off. How do you make sure that the driver is turning the, the uh, app on? So that is all thanks to the technology. And that's the return on investment that we have.